All right, Shalom, Shalom, Israel. And before I start this lesson, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakudash. I'm the brother Tazim Makamath, coming from the Camp Prophets in Babylon here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, the teachers, truth, and well. Peace and salutation to the whole full light that scattered abroad. And we have this video of uh, Jimmy Butler. Okay, which is uh, an NBA player for the Miami Heat. Okay, man, and last year he had came out with these long dreads. Okay, which, you know, the scriptures speak against. You know, a man should not have long hair. Okay, and he came out with these long ass dreads and etc. But now he has a new style. Okay, which, which shows you that, you know, a lot of, the, you know, all these celebrities and Especially these athletes, man. They sell out, man. Alright, they wear weird clothing. They do weird shit. <clears throat> weird things that that make you think. Like, what's going on? Alright. And guess what, man? It's, the industry is, is a very deep rabbit hole, man. Alright. And if these people want to get, you know, the fame and fortune and etc. They got to sell out. Alright, so we're going to play... <laughs> all right which right there he look effeminate man now if you closely observe he got black fingernails black fingernails which you see a lot of these rappers they have black fingernails. You got little uh, little Yachty, NBA Young Boy, Drake, um, etc. Which this symbolizes something, man. This this symbolizes something very uh, deeper than you know than you may know. Okay. Not only that, he got piercings on his lips, his nose, his uh, eyebrows. All right. And he straightened his hair. He looked like a fem he looked like a female, man. Alright. Now let's grab this real quick. Effeminate. Cause this is what a lot of our people are doing, man. Okay. Now it says first Corinthians chapter six verse nine. It says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the most high? Be not deceived. Neither fornicators nor idolaters nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves when mankind, this is, uh, get the chapter, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of the Most High. And guess what? Esau, I made our people effeminate, especially the men. <clears throat> he made the men very effeminate, and the women masculine okay because they think the woman could just the women are the prize they could just step over stuff but when you got our our people especially our men dressing like this and painting their fingernails black and you could do what you want and be whatever you want this is my image and you know hey man that's effeminate that's a feminine trait man that esau has pushed upon you okay and Obviously, this Jimmy Butler had did something to sell out, all right, to to want to be big. He want to be big in the NBA, man. He want to be a top name superstar like LeBron and these other uh, athletes. Okay. Tell me, last year you came out with the braids, man. And what's what's this? I had dreads like, last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dreads. Um, what's this? Yeah, this is uh my emotional state. <laughs> I'm one with my emotions, so. My emotional state. I mean, he going through some. He might have a humiliation ritual, or uh, some type of emotional ritual, where they have him dressed like this. Uh, 
He looked like a punk, bro. Okay? See, now the Lord is raising up men. Okay? He's not raising up effeminate men. Okay? Most of our men are effeminate, man. The Lord is not coming back to save all of Israel. The Lord is only coming back to save the elect. That's going to stand against his government. Stand against his society. And what Esau pushes. Okay? Now, this is... This is crazy, man. This might be your favorite athlete. You may want to reconsider, man. Okay? Just like Dwayne Wade. <laughs> you may want to reconsider. Alright? Let's grab this. This is uh, 1 Timothy chapter 6. And verse 9. Now it says, But they that will be rich fall into, into temptation and a snare. Okay? Jimmy Butler is an athlete. He's rich. He got millions of dollars. But guess what? He fell into a temptation and a snare. For you to be rich in this world, you have to do something for Esau, man. If you want that fame and that status, you have to do something for Esau. You see? Scriptures say, the meat shall inherit the earth. Okay? See, the Lord is going to raise up the humble. Okay, we don't have to do all these things. Scriptures say, we're going to get fame and praise in every land. We'll put the shame. Are, are we going to do that on our own? Are we going to go to Esau? No. We're going to wait for Yahweh Shem Yashai, our Lord, to come and give us that, man. It's nothing better than the Lord giving you that honor and that glory. Okay? We see a lot of our people are sell on this side. And guess what? They want to be rich. They fall into temptations and, and traps. And it says, and, and into many foolish and hurtful lusts. You know, these rituals and sacrifices. Okay, things you got to do that make you uncomfortable. Go to these, you know, um, um, these celebrity parties, all white parties, all black parties, whatever it may be, right? Now it says, which drown men in destruction and perdition, okay? Because at the end of the day, you're destroyed, all right? You see an example of that with Dwayne Wade. He wanted to be rich. All right, and guess what he's doing? All right, he let Gabriel Union, his wife, run all, run all over him. Well, she's a witch. Okay, he he called himself. Um, he let he let him call his son. He let his son call him, call himself whatever. He could be uh you know Mo. Man, it's just all backwards, man. Hey, which is drowning men into destruction and perdition. That's why you know these celebrities that are um. So these celebrities and, and athletes, they're like, oh, I went to depression, and uh, I'm not happy, and I wish I didn't have money, you know, stuff like that, because what it attracts is death on the other side, man, all right? Now, verse 10, it says, for the love of money is the root of all evil. It says, which while some coveted after, right, some people envy after. Because money be having witchcraft on it. That's why people, they envy it. They want all the money in the world. They do whatever for money. Alright? It says they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Alright? And Jimmy Butler is pierced with many sorrows, man. This man is destroyed, man. I wouldn't be surprised if you come out and say I'm a mo. I like men. I'm bisexual. Okay? I'm not playing the whole seven minutes. Obviously, they're just asking about, you know, basketball and et cetera. But you get the point of the image that, we, that you see right here. Okay. Jimmy Butler is going to be a Butler, man. Okay. <laughs> Very soon. Okay. If he don't change his ways, man. Okay. Let's grab this. Uh, the book of Matthew. Chapter... 16. <clears throat> this is Matthew chapter 16, verse 25. It says, For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. Alright? And guess what? Jake loved to save their life on this side. Okay? And guess what? They lost it. In return, they lost it. Because they want to be rich and famous. They want to have the status. They want to have the glory. See... Our people don't have patience, man. They don't like to wait for the Heavenly Father and the Son to come. 
All right, first man, how we gonna get? How we gonna get some if Yahweh Shai hasn't even got got his kingdom yet? That's that's what Jake don't understand, man. Our Lord, the Son Yahweh Shai, has to get his glory first. Okay, he was promised that. Then the elect is gonna, you know, um, join heir with it. But see, our people want to be, you know, rich and famous and have the status on this side when Esau is ruling. And guess what? Esau is going to lead you down a, 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 a alley where you got to do some horrible acts. And it says, and whosoever will save, oh, so like it says, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. And guess what? That's what the men of the Lord are doing now. We lost our life. We counted all things as done. Okay. As the scriptures say, you know, hey, what shall we do if we've forsaken all these things, Lord? You shall receive a hundredfold. Okay, because guess what? We put the Lord and his ministry first. Okay, we know that we're going to gain all these things back and, and more. You see that example with Job? Okay, and we believe that. We have faith in that. All right, we believe the words that Yahweh Shemashai says, man. All right, we ain't doing this for nothing now. Okay. All right. Verse 26, it says, For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? All right. Look, man, you lost your soul trying to gain the world. And that's what Esau hits you with. All right. Let's see what the NLT says. It says, and the NLT says, what do you benefit if you gain the whole world but lose your own soul? Is anything worth more than your soul? Okay. It says, and what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? All right, look, man. You sold out just to gain rich and fame, which is all temporal. Which is all temporal. It's all corruptible. Okay, and you see that, man. That's why... You see a lot of athletes now, they got these fingernail polishes, they they looking like females, they acting like females, they're doing weird stuff, alright? You think, you think men's gonna, you think the men <laughs> gonna take this serious, man? And hey, we tell, we telling you now, man, if you wanna be in that, you wanna be in that circle, you gotta do things that are, that are out of your, out of your comfortability box. And guess what, they lost their soul, man. Trying to gain the whole world, gain the rich and fame, the status, the fortune. All right. Let's get this. First uh, Corinthians five and already. Oh, First Corinthians nine. It's a lot. All right, this is 1 Corinthians 9 and 25. It says, And every man that strive for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. And that's what we're striving for. We're striving for an incorruptible crown, a crown that's never going to be taken. Because in, in uh, the book of Ezra, it tells you how the Lord is going to place that crown upon the, the elect. Okay? That's an incorruptible crown. Imagine the uh, the Lord, Yahweh Shai, putting the crown upon your head, man. All right, but see, our people that sold out, they gained a corruptible crown. Everything is temporal, all right? As the scriptures say, um, let's actually grab it in Matthew 6, chapter. Matthew 6, and verse 19. Now it says, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust do corrupt. See, all these things they got is temporal. It's all corruptible. Anybody can go in and seal it and take it. It's all materialistic. It says, where thieves break through and steal. But verse 20 it says, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust do corrupt, and where, you're, and where thieves do not break through and steal. See, we're storing up things that thieves cannot steal. The only one that could, you know, take it away is Yahweh Bashim al all right, we have to endure in this thing. Okay? Now, verse 21 says, For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. 
Okay, so our heart is focused, our minds are focused on the kingdom of heaven, you know, the things that we're going to obtain, the riches, the glory, okay? But see, uh, versus, the, uh, you know, celebrities and athletes, their treasures are winning the championship and gaining the most money and etc. They, they're storing up things upon earth, treasures upon earth, versus we're, we're storing treasures upon heaven. And the Lord, you know, he reads the depths of your mind, okay? He knows He knows your heart. He knows your mind, what the tensions is, man, okay? So you see, man, Jimmy Butler, the black, got black nails, looking like a Hot Topic employee. All right, man, hey, look, this is what this is what's coming down to, man. It's showing more and more that these athletes and celebrities sold out. All right, so with that, Lord willing, let's have been edifying. I want to give my honor, glory, and praise to you. How about Shimon Shabbat Shimon Kakudash? Till next time I say Shalom.